It's raining And you can't feel the sun You wish you could see clearly again It's pouring And you can't feel the love You wish it was any other day When you're not even Maybe you're just down The love shine through the window of your heart Sometimes when you're lonely Or maybe you're just sad The love shine through the window of your heart It's storming Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to show you, well if you didn't know, um, if you're not on my Keeping It Dutch Facebook page or my Instagram page, then you probably don't know, but we, I end up processing, me and my brother and my daughter on Father's Day, Sunday, we end up processing the rest of the meat chickens we had. We uh, raised the white Cornish Jumbo Cross and uh, I'm telling you what, this has surprised me. Um, I didn't see this coming. I did not see this coming being this big. These chickens got way bigger than i thought they were they would actually really get um I, I, in the opening scene you probably uh seen me doing um the very first one it weighed over six pounds and it barely fit into um the shrink rack bag the shrink bags that i got and uh, i think i got a bigger chicken in there so i might be in trouble uh, when it comes to that but let me show you the setup real quick um as far as what we got to do these uh meat chickens with this is like the easiest thing to do um, whenever you're processing the chickens um, we've had them in the ice chest for two days now it's the second day um, but the shrink the shrink bags are the easiest by far whenever you are processing chickens to store um, you've seen that i didn't have the bags for the last last batch and uh, i had to, i had um quarter them up and all that and put them in uh, freezer bags which wasn't a big deal um, but this is definitely easier so check this out so basically you just get this stuff off amazon i finally got some um, i actually got more than i need but these are just the the bags you stick them in there and i'll show you the process of me actually doing it the zip ties and the very important straw to get the air out of them so once you get it all set up you're gonna bring it over here and you're just gonna dunk it in there until it, it gets tight and all the air comes out and uh, i'll go ahead and show you the process real quick so let's go ahead and grab another chicken out of here yeah i'm telling you i got some big ones that's pretty good size We've had to put two bags of ice in there over two days, so not bad. Okay, I'll show you this process, um, and then we're going to go ahead and weigh it when we get done. Um, one thing I didn't, um, I did do. We uh, we got uh, we got a late start the other night, and the, we couldn't really get the temperature um, regulated where we wanted it on on the water. So whenever we were processing these, whenever I was um, putting them in the water to uh, get get the feathers off, Gabby, what are you doing? Get out of there! Come here. Gabby's wandering around in there trying to catch mice, I think. Uh, but whenever we were scolding them in the water, um, I got the water too hot. And one thing with the plucker I have, if you get too hot of a temperature, um, it seems to rip the skin pretty easy on the chicken. So a lot of these chicken skins got ripped. They don't look perfect by any means, but they are processed and uh, they'll be ready to go. And that's one thing about these. Whenever you are ready to, uh, to uh, eat these and you thaw them out, you can could, you could clean them up and do all the rest of this stuff. So let's try to get this, show you getting this in here. These are by far the biggest chickens I've ever, ever uh, raised myself to process. And I got a feeling they're not all gonna fit in these bags. It's gonna be really, really close. It said this will hold six, uh, seven pound chickens. But I'm telling you, six pounds is about all they can handle, it looks like. We'll see how much this one weighs. So once you get in there just like that, um, what I do, as you get your straw, you just put it in the cavity right there. And I'll wrap that up and I'll get my zip tie. And I'll get my zip tie started. And get it cinched down pretty good. Maybe. And I get a, um, I use a pair of pliers too, to really get a good 
pull down on this zip tie. So I recommend make sure you got a pair of pliers that you can use. And you just kind of push it down as far as you can to the cavity. Tighten it up and you'll use, them, you'll use those pliers in a minute. You're just going to stick it down in there. And sometimes you got to pull that, that uh, straw up so it doesn't get stuck on any like skin or meat and all that and just stick it in there for a little bit. I don't know the, like, the exact time to put it in there. Pretty much you can just tell you know, it shrinks wraps around it. It don't take very long. You can see how tight that got. So that's when I come over here and uh, get my pliers. And I'll pull it down a little bit more and pull the straw out. And really cinch down on that. We'll go ahead and weigh it too. I like to write the date and the weight on them. Just when you're cooking them, you got a pretty good idea. I got a seven pounder. That's a seven pounder. 7.01, right at seven pounds. That's a big chicken. That one was six, that one's seven. Yep, so then I just write, I'm, that's a big chicken. <laughs> so I'll get my rag, dry it off a little bit, just write the right on it. Six, 23, 20, and then seven pounds not writing very good and if you don't write on there it's not that big of a deal you know when you process your chickens so there's two I'm, i'll get about four or five lined up and i only got 13 and then i'll take them into the freezer okay so that's all there is to it whenever you're doing um doing the shrink wrap bags uh for the chickens it's very very easy and this this basically you can do this by yourself no problem um it, it actually helps to have a lot of people doing um the processing part itself uh, my friend kevin from hidden heights farm and alex and jacob from Sire ridge farm they're uh, they uh both they're processing their chickens this week um so if that they're probably gonna be putting videos out in the next couple weeks over that um they both had 25 of the same breed i think and i'm gonna i'm gonna make a wager right now i guarantee they ain't got no seven pound chickens you can go over there to their channels and tell them say dutch said you ain't you there ain't no way you guys outgrew chickens like he did those are some big chickens okay so that's basically all i'm gonna do uh for the first part of this video is get all these chickens done i'll show you guys out there throw time left you guys can just watch me working real quick um then when we get a chance we'll walk out there if it ain't getting too dark um we'll go out there to uh, check on abe uh, for some reason, everyone thought Abe was sick, and that's Abe's not sick. Um, he's just he's acting different, but he's not acting sick. He's eating water. He's drinking water. He's eating uh, grain that we give him. Abe is fine when it comes to that, but he just isn't acting himself uh, when it comes to being more aggressive towards us. Uh, before whenever before the, when it was breeding season, he's really excited to be around us and the girls. Now that breeding season's over, he's completely changed his attitude. And from what I've been reading and what people have been saying, that's really very common thing. Um, so if you guys thought Abe was sick, Abe's not sick. Abe's doing great. We'll walk out there and show you, show you that. And then we'll talk about the pig when we get out there. So hopefully it doesn't get dark on us too if I get this done. I'll quit talking, put this up, and uh, we'll see you here. I hope you guys like this video today. If you do, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Then you guys really like what we got going on. And if you watched my last video, you've seen that we're going to be going off grid. And there's going to be a lot of videos uh, coming up on that and the land clearing and all that. So stick around. I think you guys enjoy the channel. Okay, I'm about half done, but I wanted to show you guys this. Guess down below the weight differences in these. Obviously, this one's the biggest one, medium, and then small. Guess the, the size, how much they weigh. So number one, number two, and number three. And I'll tell you guys at the very end of the video. All right, I'm about done, and uh, I'm about trying to wrap this up before it gets dark. Okay, you see I got all the chickens in there. I think there's 13 total. And we got a few big ones. Okay, that didn't take too long, but it is getting dark on me. But I'll walk out here 
Can you see me? I'll walk out here and show you guys. Um, Abe, show you that he's doing great. Um, he's just acting. I'll tell you what I think's wrong with him. And uh, hey, girls. We'll, uh, and we'll show you the pig, too. And, and I'll show you what we do with the pig. It's getting dark, girls. Yeah. Have my pick this out for me? It looks just too hot to wear that. I know. She picked it out for me. All right. Let's go check on the animals. I hope there ain't a goat stuck in there. Matt. Matt. He's up walking around. Hey, I actually think he's doing a little bit better. But we don't have any scraps for you. Um, I did give him a block, oh a mineral gosh. block. Look at that one. Now that's Mr. Beast. We've dubbed him Mr. Beast because um, he's so much bigger than the rest of them. So, I'll show you what we did with this one. So he's actually getting. A, let's see if you. I gotta get right. So he's actually doing better than what he was doing. Um, we gave him a shot of antibiotics and we gave him a B12 booster. And I got some footage of that, me and Brandy doing it. Was a, it was a chore to get that big pig down in there. Um, and, the, and the vets that um, we use, the local vets here, they are not doing house calls right now because of the whole COVID-19 thing. Um, so that's not an option. The only thing we could do is load him up and take him. Um, but it was recommended that I give him the uh, antibiotics and the B12 and give it a few days, see how he does. And I think he's actually improving. Um, well, we're going to monitor him over the next couple days and uh, see if we can get an appointment in to take him to the vet if necessary. But right now, his appetite, he's drinking, he's eating, he's walking around. Um, he's doing better. <laughs> Uh, let's go check on let's go check on Abe. Abe, 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 Abe. For some reason, for some reason, you guys all assumed I said he was sick, and you guys said he looked sick. What? He was chasing me. He was chasing us again. Um, Abe is not sick. What? What do you got? Firefly. Abe's not sick. He... Get out of there. The goats are getting in there. Get out of there. How much of you guys ate? What? What? Okay, so let's show Abe. Abe is hiding out. This is like his go-to spot now. Um, I personally believe something almost got him or something happened to him. Uh, he's not sick. His color's different. It's more of a pale color, but his breathing's fine. Someone said they seen he's breathing, wasn't breathing right. Abe's breathing just fine. Um, I think from the things I read and comments, a lot of comments you all even left with some experiences that um, after mating season, they start to act different. And then when mating season comes back around, they start to act like they were. Um, but, I, but that could be it. I also think something might try to get him. I don't know. Because he's, he's definitely been hiding underneath the um, underneath there for like the last week, two weeks. So I think that's what it is. It's like his little safe zone. Um, so we move some water over there. Hallie, go get a cup of grain. We'll give him some grain. Um, you got two, two of them? We're going to throw him another cup of grain in there. We've just been throwing some grain underneath there. Really, the ghosts kind of don't mess with it. Um, and he just sits there and pecks at it. And uh, he's doing fine. He's just acting different. See, now he's getting up. So we got fresh water underneath there. We keep filling up for him. He's creeping his mood, his, his mood just isn't um, as normal as it was. And uh, But he, he walks around, hangs out right there most of the day. Um, he doesn't venture very far. That's the thing. He doesn't venture very far. He comes back in here like it's his little safety net. He doesn't um, chase us anymore. No, he doesn't really come out. He did try to chase Hallie earlier, but I don't know. You can see he's eating something right now. <laughs> you don't want to. What, babe? Wait, where's my other one? I don't know where my other one is. Where's yours? My friend's fly. Can you get it, Hadley? I forgot that's kind of hard for her to get. Can you get it? Okay, now get one to bring out here, okay? Aww. These pigs are wanting scraps bad. They didn't, we didn't, um, we don't have any scraps today for them. And they are wanting some. Uh. 
What? So I filled that up earlier. It's earlier. But what I found out is the, the straight bar actually broke off at the end. I don't have any scraps for you. No scraps tonight, sorry. Forgive me. I filled this back up, like uh, put 100 pounds in this, and then 50 pounds of that over there. Hallie, just you want me to do it? You want to? Okay. You, you gotta do it without the goat seeing you do it. If you see the fireflies, tell me. Okay, I seen a bunch last night. Come this way, Hadley. Go up underneath there. Huh? Throw, throw it to him underneath there. Look. Hurry up so the ghosts don't Guys see look. you. Here they come. You gotta get up underneath there and throw it behind that water. He won't. I don't hope, hope not. Come on, Hadley. Up underneath. You want me to do it? No. Wait, wait. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. <laughs> I got some chicken scraps with corn up there that I've been giving them to, and uh, we'll give him we'll give him some more of that tomorrow. He still had a little bit underneath there behind that water. So what's new? Anything new, girls? The pigs? I know. Oh, I'm stepping on a thorn. I think. But it's getting dark on us. We gotta get out of here. Yeah. What? Mr. Beast. <laughs> oh, watch out. All right, we'll walk back up here. But that's all we got for you today. Um, I wanted to show you guys putting the chickens in the bags because you guys have been following along with the whole process of that. And uh, I did 13 of them. We got some big ones. And I told you I would tell you how big one, two, three was. One was over, a little over seven, like 7.125. And the middle one was over six. And the very small one was over five. We had two five pounders and like six six pounders and like three or four seven pounders. So we had some big chickens uh, this go around these are the biggest breasts i've ever seen on a chicken it's crazy um it's stuff that looks like you get from walmart where they put all the all the steroids and stuff in there but no we just gave them straight feed they're going around, around a little bit inside the hoop coop you guys unlocked this up for me yeah come here guys oh shit there uh so yeah we didn't do the um chicken tractor this year we just did the stationary and uh you can see the results speak for themselves they did awesome i will tell you one thing that i found out these big ones whenever we were processing i didn't film the processing part i think vincent because vincent and them helped me on that i think he put it on his channel uh he the, this last go around but one thing i noticed with these bigger chickens like the seven pounders um whenever i would go to lift them up and kind of bend their uh front leg a little bit to cut uh, cut the foot off I was breaking, I was snapping their legs like that. So whenever uh, you hear stories about they get so big, their legs snap, I'm telling you, these are probably right on the verge because they get so heavy, their, their bones, they outgrow their bones. Their bones aren't strong enough for, to support all the weight. And uh, that's what was getting ready to happen with these. So I don't recommend going over seven pounds. That's a big, big chicken. And uh, yeah, so seven pounds, 7.1 was our biggest chicken ever. And uh, we had a good harvest this year and um, I'm happy and satisfied. We got a freezer full of meat, don't we? yeah so all right that's all we got for you guys today i uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's little vlog uh, i'm telling you abe is doing great uh the pig is it's doing better um so we'll we'll keep eye on them for the next couple days we gave them the antibiotics you guys seen that um that was that was hard that was hard to sit them down and get it done but we got it done anyways we'll keep you guys updated on the pig and like i said the vets aren't doing house calls with the whole covid thing um so we'll just keep eye on them if we need to take them in the next few days and um, we'll try to work something out with the vet and all that and you know, but i think he's doing better so hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you just smash that like button if you're not subscribed please subscribe what should they do hadley Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, Gabby. Bye, Gabby. Where's Gracie? Where's Gracie? Inside. Oh, she's inside already? Okay, yeah. let's put Gabby inside. <laughs>